So I am here to uh, do a little test, something that I've been wanting to do since PEX came into the uh, the plumbing world. Um, I'm actually going to take, I have uh, four different brands of PEX here, um, and I'm going to take them, fill them full of water, uh, cap them, and put them in the freezer and see what happens. I have Wurzboro, uh, this is Vega, this is Pex rate, I believe it is from uh, Home Depot. Um, that's Vega, that's a heating line for Vega. And this is Reha. I'm also going to take a shark bite cap. I have one on this end already, and I'm going to fill that piece of copper and put another shark bite cap on the other end. Freeze that. I know the copper's going to split, but I'm just going to see if it doesn't push the, uh, the shark bite fitting off there as well. Um, so I'm going to start off with the uh, Aquapex here. And this is the clear Aquapex. I stopped using it since I saw the um, what the light had done to it. And what I'm using for caps for this little procedure here is uh, see the little hole there. And you just want to make sure your pipe is to that point is Vega. Um, the fittings for Vega have are more than in the ballpark as far as price goes. They're half the price of Reha and uh, that makes quite a difference when it comes to plumbing an entire hose. They're made of bronze as well and they're pretty simple fitting. There we go, there's a small air bubble in there, but there's the worst, bro. Like I say, I quit using it because of the UV problem that I've seen with it. It's a very, has a very short lifespan UV. This is the Vega, this is, that's PEX A. Vega is uh, PEX B. And I will be going with the Vega from here on out. I have a few, a few uh, Reha fittings left, but from here on out, I'll be, I'll be going with Vega. It's a pretty quick system. This is the uh, brand from. Um, Home Depot. I'm not exactly sure uh, if it's PEX A, B, or C. I was talking to the guy out there and he I mentioned to him about the UV thing and he hadn't heard anything about it so we're going to just do a little test of that one as well. He said that the sun doesn't bother PEX but I didn't get into a conversation with him about it. it I knew the difference but anyway As you can see, that Vig is pretty slick. It doesn't take anything to uh, to put the fittings on. You can actually get the Pro Press tool uh, that they have that will actually speed up the process. It's 18 volt battery works very well. The nice part about Vega, you can tell if the fittings in all the way. Um, a little hole there, so. So for Arbor 4 for 4, I don't know how it's going to take to the, to the Reha, but we shall see. And that is PEX B as well, those two Vega. So this is the last one we have, and it's Reha. Now PEX A is supposed to expand and contract, no worries at all. When it comes to freezing, I had heard that someone had used it in their barn, and in the winter it froze, and in the spring they simply uh, turned their water back on. They were all set. So, we'll actually see if that took place. So there's the two A's. This is a B, and I'm not sure what that pipe is from Home Depot. What it is. 
So I have a shark bite fitting on there. Top this up. And I have to say, I can't knock shark bites, except for the price of them. They're a little expensive. Hopefully I can get this on here. I may have to take a little bit of water out of it. Just for compression sake. No, it's going to be a battle. Oh, there we go. And there we have it. So, and six pipes are full and they are off to the freezer. So I'm finally getting back to do the second half of this little test I have going on here. I end up uh, leaving it in the freezer for a week and what I discovered is the PEX was fine. Um, it's actually still frozen. This is the PEX type B. you're looking at this is the Vega. There's a little bit of water there, nothing major. So where's bro? And these two are type A. I wasn't really expecting them to, uh, to actually split or anything. I took this out a few minutes ago, so that's why you're getting a little blast of water. Probably hit the screen, no doubt. My luck. And this is the one from Home Depot. That Pex, right? Works, survived just as well as the others. It's 17 degrees here today, so take anything out for a few minutes and it's going to. Uh, it's going to defrost pretty fast. Now, as far as the uh, shark bite fitting goes, as far as the pipe itself goes, what I did discover is the shark bite actually pushed off a little bit. I'm not sure if I can get this off or not. And I can't. Oh, yes, I can. So it actually came off a little. And it pushed up into the... Uh, into the fitting, which isn't life and death. I mean, shark bite are excellent as far as I'm concerned for a quick repair. Um, so the bottom line is, um, with what I see here, is all PEX uh, expands and freezes, not a problem whatsoever. Um, something else I want to throw out there was. Uh, Winter's around the corner, don't forget. Anybody with a pool outside, time to get your pump in and remove the hoses, remove your hose off your outside faucet or you're going to end up with a sp split uh, outside faucet and lube the rubbers on your car doors. Anyway, that's all that's shaking here. I just wanted to do this for my own, uh, my own knowledge have that uh, carry around with. I know a number of people said, oh yeah, it'll be fine. PEX has been around since 1970. Uh, it was introduced in Europe in 1970. Those people that say, oh, I wonder what it'll be like in 30 years time, you know. Well, here we are. Um, they've only made it better. Uh, it was introduced in the States in the early 80s. So, it was in Europe beforehand and obviously they know what they're doing. So I am a true believer in PEX. So it's PEX all the way from here on out. Have a great day, guys.